So for this month's vlog, I thought I'd take you through my freshers week. So this week I'm going to be up to a couple of things. Uh, I thought I'd bring you along. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do this week is I'm going to finish off my section for the Waterfront newspaper. I'll show you how I do all that. And then later on this week, I'm going to go to the shopping centre for the student night, which should be good fun. A look at doing a content deadline for the Waterfront newspaper, which is the student run newspaper on campus. Um, I am the editor of the puzzle section for this year, which is very exciting, and I have one of my writers here with me, and we're going to go through a crossword um, for the content section of our puzzle page. So this should be interesting. So we start off with a Google Drive for the section uh, containing all the other articles written by everyone else for the paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of these, read these, and then create clues for these so that people have to look through the rest of the paper to find the answers to the crossword, which should be good fun. So we start with this lovely document that one of my writers has uh, made, which when you type something into a box um, and then move off the box, it changes colour. It's like a crossword creator, which is really useful. So we create all our clues this way. So here's a good example of a sample like article which you can take words from. So what we'll do is we'll go through this and we'll find nice words that will fit well into our crossword. So a good one here is prohibition, because I can say it's an era of gin, which sounds like quite an, a good clue. But So we'll load up each of the articles, we'll find words like this, and then we'll take these, put them in a big list, and then create a crossword out of them all. So I think I'll take prohibition for this one. So I'm really happy with the crossword this week, it's looking really good and it means we can have a really strong section for the waterfront. So the next stage after now is so I hand my couple because I've just the only crossword I've made for this issue, so I've made another one. We collect up the two crosswords, we throw in a couple of Sudoku's and a couple of other puzzles, and I give it to my editor, Karis, and she'll take it all and she'll make a lovely section and hopefully you'll be able to um, complete it in the next edition of the waterfront, which I think is coming out next month. It's all very exciting. Well, I've edited the paper now. It's all been sent off, so hopefully I'll be able to see it in the latest edition. Um, I thought that was a really good, fun thing to do. I really enjoy doing these each uh, month. Um, and now I'm going to show you what it's like to go to a student night at the Quadrant Shopping Centre. Okay, so it is a Tuesday, and I am now heading to the Quadrant Shopping Centre for a student takeover of the shopping centre, which should be quite good fun. So, we've made it to the Quadrant Shopping Centre now. I have found my two friends, Karis and Philip. So we're now going to go along around and have a look at the different offers. Okay, so now we've wandered through the Quadrant. We're now out the other end. We went to a couple shops outside the Quadrant, which was good fun. Um, my two friends have bought stuff. I'm incredibly indecisive, so I've not bought anything. Um, and actually that was really good fun, there was some really good deals on, and it was a really good student uh, event. So, that's the end of my freshers week. I've had quite a lot of fun, I've been editing the newspaper, I've got to go on a student shopping night, didn't buy much, but yeah, I still had fun out going out. Um, and I hope to see you next month. <laughs>